As a business owner myself, I understand what financial and emotional challenges facing many small business owners throughout the country and worldwide as well. Life in Russia taught me to be creative at any circumstances that life sends to me. I hope that this video will help you to take the right and creative steps on resurrecting your business from the devastating consequences and damages that pandemic caused to your business. And today I want to share with you the first of three powerful persuasion tools to help you to dramatically increase your sales because it's very simple to use. Anyone can do that. And because it completely bypasses your conscious mind and goes straight to your subconscious mind. Did you know that 95% of decisions are made on subconscious level? If you know how to persuade or convince a person, you are set for success in your business and in your life. The art of persuasion or convincing is a very big subject and I will make it simple for you in this series of short videos where I will highlight only those important points that have proof of working based on the research, my knowledge and my life experience. If it works for me, I'm sure it will work for you. If I'm able to persuade people with my sexy accent, you can do that too. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave your valuable comments. What topic do you want me to talk in my next video? How have my videos helped to improve your business? Before we dig in, I want to bring to your attention that all tools you are about to learn in this video you must use only for good purposes. You don't want to use these techniques for evil purposes, simply because if you do evil to someone, the evil will surely return back to you in one way or another. So, Keep that in mind. And the tool number one is the smell. This is the story from my life of how a few years ago, with help of the smell and two other persuasion tools, I helped my Aunt Luda to sell her old apartment in Odessa, that is in Ukraine. Some time ago, I took study here in the US and even became a realtor because I always wanted to know what it takes to sell the house and creative ways of doing that. When I went to visit my aunt, she told me that today the realtor is going to bring the first person to see her apartment and that she thinks that her apartment looks amazing. What do you think? she said. I said, yes, it looks great and I'm willing to help you to make it look even better. She agreed. The first thing I did was I bought lavender essential oil and apply it throughout the entire apartment. The second thing I did was I turned on the CD player with back piano music playing on the background. The volume was very subtle, almost inaudible. You barely could hear it, but it was there, playing for good. The third thing I did was let be the light. 
I turned on every lamp and light in the apartment. Her old apartment immediately became more lively and looked bigger than it really was. We moved the furniture around to make it look even bigger. I opened all curtains to show big and beautiful windows. My methods worked. The very first buyer immediately bought her apartment. The realtor was a good friend of my aunt and she asked him to ask a buyer what made her to choose her apartment. The realtor told to my aunt that the buyer liked the smell. It smelled fresh and clean, the opposite to other similar apartments. It had more light and it looked bigger than she saw it in the pictures. Of course, the buyer might not have noticed the subtle playing classical music, but I know that it also helped to sell her apartment. You can't imagine how much smell influences our decisions. Did you know that a splash of expensive fragrance or a cologne can make you look more attractive? And a hint of pink grapefruit essential oil can make you look a few years younger. Vanilla, ginger, and chocolate smells tend to stir romantic feelings. If you are going on a date and you wear a fragrance with a hint of vanilla, many great things are going to happen to you. Vanilla is considered to be a very effective universal unisex smell that influences males and females in a positive way and creates a positive emotional memory. Smell creates your emotional memories. Once you start to be conscious of smells, you'll notice that smells are everywhere, at certain banks, at certain malls. You even can smell it nearby certain stores. And all types of businesses are using smell to sell well. The scent marketing is helping to create a positive experience for both the businesses and the customers. Or to say it simple, the right amount of the right smell makes you feel happy and makes you to buy more products than you initially intended. The reason why people stay longer in a store that they initially planned and even may temporarily lose sense of time is because of good products, good smell, good lighting, nice music, and nice store design. Your mood is lifted and all these elements are making you feel happier. And who doesn't want their mood to be lifted and to feel happier? When you are born, you are starting to create this powerful emotional memories of various smells associated with your childhood that you remember through your life. Can you imagine that your brain can detect as much as one trillion of different odors thanks to our neurons? When you smell something, you automatically have a feeling about it. Now, I want to share with you the most popular scents used by big companies you all know and I show you how you can effectively use them too. And the most popular and effective scent of all times and nations is the scent of vanilla. 
According to the psychologists and medical researchers, vanilla scent is universally considered as pleasant that reduces stress and anxiety and make you feel calm and happier because of positive childhood associations. I remember my grandmother would make cookies and add vanilla into it. I loved it. I remember the smell. And to these days, the smell of vanilla or vanilla cookies make me feel happy, positive, and of course, wanting me more of my grandmother's vanilla cookies. What do you feel when you smell vanilla? Tell us in the comments below. These smells have been scientifically proven to make you feel happy. The smell of lavender. Studies have shown that lavender can reduce anxiety and depression and make you feel more relaxed and happy, according to WebMD. The smell of cinnamon is relaxing as well. However, not all people like smell of cinnamon. The scent of peppermint is invigorating. The smell of fresh flowers will make you and your customers feel happy. The smell of pink grapefruit will make you to feel younger and has been proven to change the way people perceive their age. It's the right smell to diffuse in spas, in hair salons. The smell of coffee is very powerful. Experiment at some of the gas station chain stores showed that where they were pumping in the smell of coffee, purchases of the coffee drink increased by 300%. The smell of coffee is definitely a stimulant to your senses. It evokes a happy mood and positive energy in your home and wherever you smell it. The coffee grounds can be used as an air freshener and not just for drinking. As a matter of fact, the smell of coffee is loved by even those who hate drinking coffee. And this is me. I don't drink coffee at all, but I like the smell of coffee. Our senses of smell can even affect productivity in offices. According to the research, when lemon oil was diffused throughout a Japanese office building, productivity among data entry operators were increased by 54%. How can you make your businesses smell good and sell more? Depending on what type your business is, you can use simple smells that would be appropriate for your business. And remember, to compare your income when your business didn't have any scent and afterwards, when you use the scent. The simple smells, as opposed to complex blends of scents, are powerful motivators when it comes to spending. Researchers at Washington State University found that's because simple smells such as vanilla, citrus, lavender, peppermint, don't require much mental processing from the shopper. Creating a comfortable and relaxing atmosphere for patients is a challenge for every healthcare facility. And that's why lavender scent is often effectively used in nursing homes to calm residents as well as effectively masking bad Odors. If you are running a nursing home or a dental or a medical practice, use lavender scent because, as I said before, lavender can reduce anxiety and depression and make you feel more relaxed 
and happy. If you have a coffee shop, use smell of coffee not only inside of your shop, but outside of it. Use the sand diffusing machine and diffuse it outside. This way, pedestrians and drivers with open windows will want to stop by and check your coffee shop. If you have an accountant business, the best smell to use would be the lemon oil diffused through your offices. It will help your employees to keep better focus and to make fewer mistakes. If you are an attorney and run law offices, you want to diffuse in your waiting rooms and offices the scent of lavender, because studies have found that lavender can reduce anxiety and depression and keep your clients feeling more calm. If you sell the flowers, you definitely want to use the fresh flower scent that will make your buyers to feel happier and also will help to mask the smell of chemicals that comes from commercially grown flowers. If you sell insurance or financial services, you may want to diffuse the lavender, lemon or peppermint oil in your offices. If you see that smell is effective and you have more clients, don't change it because your clients create positive emotional memory about your business and your products. Make it your branding smell and never change it. I hope you were able to understand the importance of the right smell in your business and in your life. And this is all for today. If you want to know two more very important persuasion tools, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be the first to watch my videos. Live long, stay strong, be persuasive. Until next time.